Good morning. Hello, good morning. How did you sleep? How are you doing? Okay. A little jet lagged. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but we are ever so glad to have you back on our side of the world. So we are very, very happy to have you back here. Now, normally, you know, I hate to rush you or, um, you know, be overly fretful when you've just arrived and just been able to get to bed, have a good night's sleep for the first time in what I presume is quite a long time, but we have a very busy day today, unfortunately. So, first things first, of course, is morning hydration. So before we get into anything in this notebook, we must first get you hydrated. I got your favorite brand of coconut water. This is so refreshing, delicious, and I think it's just the thing to get you up to get you ready, to get you moving for a very, very busy day, okay? Just the thing for you. Such an interesting color too. I don't want to say like crimson, but definitely burgundy. Um, it's a color, which is really cool. So, you drink this. Get yourself all nice and hydrated. So drink up, drink up, and let me tell you a little bit about what we have planned for today, okay? So, first things first, I'm gonna go over your schedule, and we'll just do the traditional, you know, morning routine stuff. Make sure that you're well prepared for the day. Next, your personal stylist is going to come by and give you a little bit of a trim um, just to freshen you up and make sure that you're looking your best. Of course, you always look fantastic, but a little bit of extra maintenance, especially for someone as renowned as yourself, where your looks, your appearance are rather important after all the paparazzi. Um, well, they never are deterred, are they? No matter how much you tint the windows, no matter how um, drab your clothes are, they're never deterred, they always want a picture. So, I think today we want to have you looking your best, all right? Looking your best, feeling your best, in all aspects. So your personal stylist will come by and he will um, just freshen you up a little bit. Snip, snip, trim, trim, all of that. Um, and then, you know, maybe consult with you a little bit about what to wear today. Then once he is gone, we'll bring in your vibes coach, yes. Um, he's that individual that you hired to help you kind of sort out your aura, um, help you meditate, that guy. Yeah, he's a rather eccentric person. Um, definitely a little unusual and, um, you know, a little bit uh, out there, outrageous as it were, but very, very good at what he does. He promised today that he had something extra special planned for you in addition to your normal breathing exercises and whatnot. So I think you're going to really enjoy that, okay? Yeah. Wonderful. Then, after those two are done with you, we have brunch. Probably more towards breakfast, but hey, it's uh, if it has mimosas, it's brunch, so. And there will be pr plenty of alcohol here. So, you have brunch with Ryan Reynolds. Yes, um, he wants to discuss some sort of film project 
that he wants you to be a part of. Um, I personally like Ryan Reynolds, so I think that he's worth at least hearing out, but uh, he seemed rather insistent that it be you that um, fills this part and who is going to uh, be able to, I think it was the lead in the film. I'm not sure if he's directing or if he's um, producing, but either way, definitely worth looking into. After that, we have your appointment with the spa, okay? And the spa, they're just going to give you the normal um, nail treatment, hot stone massage that you really like, and then the uh, facial cleanse, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I told them no tea tree oil this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember. I remember that. Yes, too much. Much too much. And, um, well, it was a little bit stifling, wasn't it? Yeah. So I told them explicitly no tea tree oil. Mm -hmm. You can always count on me. I remember these things. I write them down in here. Yep. I write them down in here. So spa just to get you again freshened up invigorated get the blood pumping then after that we have your personal trainer who's going to meet you at your normal gym and of course that gym has all sorts of security measures in place no paparazzi no fans just you the personal trainer as well as some other um, a-listers like yourself are going to be there, so you know the drill. It's just a normal workout. Mm -hmm. Today, I believe he said that he wanted to focus on cardio and uh, flexibility. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know that um, you take pride in doing a lot of your own stunts for your films, even some of the ones which, in my personal opinion, should be done by the uh, stunt person, but to each their own, to each their own, you take great pride. I understand. I understand. Mm -hmm. So he wants to make sure that, uh, you know, all of your joints and your cardio is going to be good. Because I know that you have um, a shoot that's upcoming that's going to be a little bit more uh, vigorous. It's going to be a little bit more extreme than some of your other projects. Isn't that right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. See, I pay attention. So, after your workout session, we do have a table read on the schedule, yeah? Evening table read, uh, and it's for one of your voice acting roles, yes. Um, I think it's that one, adult comedy, let me see. Yes, it's the adult comedy tonight. Um, that's the one where you're playing the, uh, the town coop, as it were, one of your cameos. It'll be really, really quick. It'll be really, really quick. You won't have to do too much. Just get there and do your read. You'll be perfect, as always, I know. And we should have you back just in time. Just in time for your late dinner with your mother. Yes. I know her, uh, her birthday is coming up as well. I took the liberty of jotting down a few ideas. Yes, that we might be able to utilize. So let me know what you think of these ideas for her, okay? So first, I know that she mentioned that she's a big fan of the classic cars, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Now you being so wealthy and generous, Perhaps you might want to purchase for her one of her favorites. And I took the liberty of finding one that was in the area and contacting the dealer who's willing to sell it to us for a very reasonable price. I already had someone go out and check. Runs, works very, very well, looks even better. This has like, I don't know, I think he said like 30 miles on it. Yes, grand total. Basically just sat in a garage as kind of a museum piece, yeah. Willing to sell at very reasonable price. Okay. Wonderful. I thought you might like that. Now, 
course, one overly extravagant gift is wonderful, but two are even better, of course. Now, I know that your, uh, your mom has been a little bit of a travel bug recently, isn't that right? Mm-hmm. Bit of a travel bug, been going to all sorts of interesting places, but I know that one of the places that she has not been able to make her way to is Cyprus. And as it just so happens, I'm connected with the concierge down there, at one of the most luxurious retreats and resorts. I could get you a very, very favorable deal on a 10 night stay, complete with all sorts of um, beach extravaganzas for her. Um, there's an experience where you're able to go out and I believe um, swim with dolphins. There's scuba diving, snorkeling, there's um, sailing excursions as well, if she likes that, or if she'd prefer, there's all sorts of food options available, tours of the various little towns that are on Cyprus, and of course, lots and lots of beaches. Now, what do you think of that? How does that sound? Like I said, one of the most luxurious places definitely will be up to her standards and yours. And dare I say, they might even exceed them. Wonderful. So glad to hear it. Excellent. And of course, gifts that you can use now, later are wonderful, but everybody wants that little something that's that immediate, mm -hmm, that immediate um, little spark of endorphins. I recommend some jewelry. I have it from her personal stylist that she uses, that she's been looking for a new set of ruby earrings. It just so happens that I know a jeweler around here who sells them. Yes, I've got friends in many places, just so that I can help out you, of course. Yes. Perfect. I'll contact him and have him set those aside for you. Would you like me to pick them up, or would you like to do that yourself to inspect Okay, wonderful. Excellent, that sounds good. I will have him ready those for the appointed time. Perfect. Excellent. Now, of course, that just about draws the, your day to a close. Do you have any questions about your day at all? Any questions at all about you know, location, transportation? Of course, we've arranged for all of the transportation. Most of it is going to be by your personal valet. However, there are a few um, options for you if you would prefer to be using um, one of the more exclusive limo services. Okay, sure. We'll just stick with the valet then. That sounds excellent. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Any additional questions, concerns, changes you want to be made, cancellations, additions, anything like that? Of course, your well being, your comfort is my priority. If I couldn't cancel your entire day at the flip of a switch, I wouldn't be doing my job. Yes, even Ryan Reynolds. Even Ryan Reynolds. Okay. Excellent. Well, now, in that case, I believe your personal stylist is ready to see you. Oh, no, no, no. You know, um, he and I just, we don't quite see eye to eye on some issues. His work is fantastic, it's phenomenal, it's exactly why we hired him, of course. But, um, well, he just doesn't quite sit well with me. So if you don't mind while he is attending to you, doing your trim and everything, I'll just be um, outside making a few additional arrangements and checking up on all of your appointments, okay? Wonderful, thank you so much. I will be sending him in, and do remember that 
he's coming, and then your vibe coach, of course. Yes. Yes, I don't know why he calls himself the vibe coach, but he insisted. Yes. Meditation specialist was right there, but he decided for something a little bit more avant-garde. Mm-hmm. Well, you know those types. They're always keen on being unique. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thought leaders, that's what they are. Yes. I will leave you to it then, and I will see you in a little bit, okay? Wonderful. Remember, positive, refreshed, those are the vibes for the day. Mm-hmm. Excellent. I will send in your stylist. Hello, hello. It is so good to see you again. So good to see you again. And how are you doing? Wonderful. You look it. You really do. Looking fantastic. Fantastic as always. Of course. However, you've brought me in. Just so you can look that little bit better. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. I know it. I know it. I'm very good at what I do. And you know that. And I know that. So no need to even worry. Now, of course, your, um, your personal assistant there had me waiting for, well, what some might consider to be a little bit too long out uh, in your foyer. It's a lovely foyer, by the way, very well appointed. However, not a place a person wants to spend too long if they have a job to be doing. Now, luckily, I was able to come up with all sorts of extraordinary ideas for you, so this was not time wasted, far from it. I lands, after all, are the devil's workshop. No, I was exercising my incredible stylistic genius and coming up with a few ideas for you in the fashion department. You don't need them, of course, but just a few ideas, um, proposals. Think of them as suggestions from an expert such as myself. First, however, before we get into any of that, I see that uh, you have a little bit of jet lag hair going on. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it looks extraordinary as always, but a few flyaways, a few... Uh, Split ends, it could use a bit of a trim. Lucky. I am always prepared for such a thing, of course, of course. I wouldn't be much of a personal stylist if I weren't. So, first things first. We're just going to give you a little bit of a spray down, just so that I can really start to get a sense of what I'm working with in terms of length. After all, with some of your strands going every which way. It's a little bit hard to tell, all right? So, close your eyes for me, please. Perfect. Good. 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 Up top. Good. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And let's see what we're working with, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not as bad as I thought, not as bad as I thought at all. Worry not. No, 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 no need for concern. Let's start off. Just with a quick trim, okay? Just going to get some of those flyaways, those loose split ends that need just a little bit, um, a little bit of trimming up. Then we're going to work in some layers for some added texture. Then I just want to clean up a little bit around the face. You've got a few stray bits of eyebrow here and there, which I think um, can be tended to, okay? Alrighty. Mm hmm. You're doing wonderful. Yep, just stay like that. Look to the side for me, please. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Other side, please. You're doing so well. well. You always do excellently, of course. 
And thank you so much for um, letting me work on you a little bit like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know me. I'm always a chatterbox when I am consulting, but when I'm styling, when I'm doing my work, I'm a little bit more focused. I have to be, after all. I'm charged with making uh, A-listers, celebrities, people of wealth, fortune, fame, and everything in between, just like yourself, look their best at all times. Your face, after all, is appearing on magazine covers. Paparazzi are running over themselves. You look at it. It must be looking at its best at all times. And the hair, of course, is the frame of the face. The frame of the face, if it's not looking its best, no matter how excellently the hair looks, and no matter how excellent, excellently the face looks, I should say, it will always be held back a little bit by the hair. All right, to turn around for me, please. We'll just get a few bits and bobs in the back. Unfortunately, you do have that cowlick over here, yes. I know that uh, individuals of distinguishment like yourself, you know, they hate to have any kind of flaw, but I would say that this cowlick is probably the one. It's your Achilles heel. Mm -hmm. I know it. So we're just taking our time with that, just a little bit of extra time, just to get that nice and under control for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, let's do a little bit of layering, shall we? Mm -hmm. We'll just do a little bit of layering with these. These are my favorite to work with. I love them. side plates. Mm -hmm. Other side. Okay. Excellent. That's looking wonderful. Yeah, so there we go. Looking really, really nice. Looking refreshed. Not a full-on haircut. Not a change of style in any way. Just a reinforcement of everything that was already there. A um, exaggeration, an enhancement of everything that was already working to make it work its best. Yes. Well, you know me. I like to work just that little bit of magic. Yes. Now, there is the... Uh, Small matter of your eyebrows, isn't that right? Yes. Fresh blade, so no need to worry. I'm just going to go in and trim those up just a little bit for you, okay? Okay. Okay. And uh, in between. Just a few stray hairs. No need to worry. This isn't a shaping at all, just again, a reinforcement and enhancement. Not doing anything that uh, wasn't already there. Just making sure that everything works really well. Have you tilt your head to the side for me, please? I'm gonna get that sideburn and just shape that up nicely for you, okay? 
just so that the side of that is working. Okay, and the other side, please. Yeah. You're doing really, really well. You're a professional. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Excellent. And uh, just take a look at that mirror over there. How do you think everything is looking? Perfect. I knew you'd say that. I'm very good at what I do because I've been doing it for an awful long time. Now that you're happy with your hair and everything is working in concert, in tandem, together, in conjunction. I've got whole loads of synonyms, by the way, I could keep going at this for days. But now that everything's working together beautifully and you are looking stunning, even more so than before, you're welcome. Even more so than before, there's the small matter of your clothes. Now, I hate to say it, I hate to say it, you know I do, but summer is just about at its close. Yes, I know, I hate to say it, I know. But summer has just about reached its zenith, and then, sadly, has eroded away into fall. Now, Wear summer your bright blues, greens, and even some of those pinks, saffrons have been working really, really well. Fall is a little bit of a different story. I'm going to request you fall in with the trend a little bit. A little bit more muted colors. Mm -hmm. A little bit more muted colors. Um, those ruddier browns, burgundies. Um, you can still use blue. I know that you love your blues. But make them instead of those, you know, bright periwinkles and sky blues, maybe something a little bit more reserved, right? Deep ocean blue, royal blue even. And then, you know, marry it with something that's a little bit more earth tone, it's a little bit more neutral, okay? Yes, again, this isn't to uh, tamp down your style or anything, but... Well, it's a little bit unusual to carry on the summer trends well into fall, all right? So I want to make sure, all right, make sure that we're on the same page when it comes to your styling. After all, we don't need those tabloids or paparazzi picking up too many um, out-of-sync photos of you where, you know, you're in a gathering and are just sticking out like a store thumb. We want you to stick out for all the right reasons. We want you to be wearing the right clothes at the right time so that everything looks fantastic. What we don't want, what we don't want, is for you to be seen as garish or ostentatious in any way. We don't want that. We don't want that. So, tone down the color choices a little bit. All your same materials are fine. Maybe a little bit more wool, okay? than your linens. So put the linens to the side. Those can be retired for another day. Embrace the warm wool or cotton sweaters, jumpers, cardigans, all that good stuff. Make sure that you're looking hip, looking chic, looking your part, and as always looking stunning. Mm -hmm. And for those gala events, you can go as big as you'd like, yes, but just remember, maybe not the periwinkle, maybe go for teal, maybe not the um, highlighter yellow, maybe go for something a little bit deeper, right? Maybe not the um, neon green, maybe go for forest. Same style, different color palette, understand? Wonderful, I know I don't have to explain this to you, I know you understand the importance, you're a very, very smart individual, I completely understand. I wouldn't be doing my job. I wouldn't be doing my job after all if I didn't take the time to remind you of all of this. Isn't that right? Wonderful. Excellent. I'm so glad that you understand. Now, that just about does it for your styling, okay? You're looking very, very nice. And I see, is that coconut water? I love that stuff as well. Yes, it's a little bit of a guilty pleasure of mine. It's, uh, 
well, it tends to be a little bit more expensive. And, uh, but I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I know. I know. Now, I believe you have an appointment next with, um, I, I think your personal assistant there told me a vibes coach. Interesting. I've never heard of that. I see. Okay. One of those types, is he? I understand completely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, I will keep you no longer. We've got you freshened up after all, looking your best. Now it's time to get you feeling your best. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe that he's waiting in the foyer as well. I think I saw him coming in just as I was called in for you. So I will let him in. All right. Perfect. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. A delight, even. You are looking phenomenal. Spectacular. You are looking 100% A-lister. All right. Wonderful. Now, without further ado, I must take off and leave you to the rest of your devices and what I'm sure is a very, very busy day for you. Wonderful. All right. I will be seeing you and I will get your vibe coach in. Toot sweet, as they say. Perfect. You've been into light. Goodbye. Hey. Hey, hey. Looks like you've had a busy morning, my friend. And I'm thinking that you'll have an even busier day, isn't that right? Yeah, I know. Well, this is the kind of thing that happens when you get rich and famous. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants a piece of you. Everybody wants your time, your attention. They all want um, a little bit of your, your aura, as it were, your energy. That's better. Now, I uh, saw your personal assistant run through here and your personal stylist too. Your haircut's looking excellent, by the way. Yeah. Really um, brings together the whole vibe. Yeah. Really excellent. But of course, you know, you can look good. And you can have a whole schedule and people to take care of every little thing for you. But it doesn't mean a thing unless you feel as awesome as you look. Which, of course, is why you bring little old me here, yeah? Because despite my um, rather casual appearance, let's be honest with ourselves, you and I, we both know that I'm the best guy around when it comes to keeping people like you sane, first of all, but the nice and mellow, able to roll with the world's punches, isn't that right? Yeah. Excellent. So, let's begin where we always begin, shall we? Which is, of course, some positive affirmations. Affirmations to keep you confident, to keep you upbeat, energized, and refreshed, willing and able to take on each and every day. Isn't that right? Wonderful. All right, so let's... Uh, Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and we'll just let it out through the mouth. That's a nice, calming breath. Let your shoulders drop, you know. You might have your jaw clenched up, unclenched that. Yeah. Relax. Wiggle your neck back and forth. Feel everything nice and loose and loosen up. Let that loose feeling go from your neck down to your shoulders, give them a little bit of a wiggle down to your arms, elbows, and even your hands, all right? Give them a wiggle. Now let it travel down, down to your hips, down to your knees and your legs, down to your calves, and down to your feet and your toes. A nice, loose, relaxed feeling, isn't that right? Yeah. And I want you just take in what I'm saying. Internalize what I'm saying. Repeat it to yourself in your head. Don't do it out loud. You don't have to do it out loud if you don't want to. You can. 
you'd like to, but you don't have to. But just internalize what I'm saying. Take it in your mind's eye. Repeat it back to yourself. Ingrain that in your head, all right? So ingrain what I'm about to say. I am enough. Mm -hmm. I am effortlessly enough. I am phenomenal at what I do. I am the best at what I do. People feel comfortable around me. People like me for who I am and who I am striving to be. Everybody supports my journey of self-improvement and self-realization. Everybody supports me on the days when I succeed and the days where sometimes I fall a little bit short. Everybody likes who I am. I like who I am and who I am going to be. I am on a journey. A journey does not end necessarily at its destination. My destination may change as I'm on my individual journey. How are you doing? Okay, let's keep going, shall we? I look effortlessly fantastic. I always am right on time. I don't need to stress because I am in control of the things that I need to be in control of. And the rest I leave up to the grace of the universe. Mm -hmm. The universe will sort all of the things that are out of my control for the best possible outcome for everyone. Any downs or dips are merely little bumps in the long journey of life. I don't need to agonize over anything because everything always sorts itself out. I always know what to say because I'm always listening and I am empathetic to other people. I always know what to say. If I don't know what to say, I'll tell someone that and they'll appreciate my honesty. I am always honest, and people like me for that. Mm -hmm. The person who stares back at me in the mirror is someone who I am proud of, and someone who I enjoy. But that doesn't mean that it's my final form. I am allowed to progress and to grow as a person. People want me to progress and grow. I want to evolve and become a better version of myself. I am enough. I am always enough. And I can always strive to be better. All right. Another deep breath and just let it out. How are you doing? Excellent. You're looking refreshed. Mm -hmm. I can tell that whether it was jet lag or you know just the stresses of everyday living, you were looking a little bit tense. Not necessarily in a way that someone other than myself could tell, right? So, the paparazzi would never know. Heck, your personal assistant might not even know, but 
I'm more in tune with this type of thing than other people. So I was getting some vibes that you needed to hear some positive things today. You need to be reassured a little bit. It's a stressful life you live. No one's denying that. You've got a lot on your plate at all times. A lot of people are counting on you. But those people aren't counting on you to be perfect all the time. You're allowed to make mistakes. People expect that sometimes things are going to go wrong. They don't hold it against you. They know, just like you do, that there are little bumps in the grand road of life. Mm -hmm. We just got to take them as they are, and we just got to keep moving forward. The only time, the only time that uh, in life you're in trouble is if you're moving backwards. As if you're going back on the road of life. If you've got to stop and take a little breather, that's okay. Can't stay there too long. But the end goal is just keep moving forward. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do a couple additional breathing exercises just to get those last remnants of any tension out of your system, okay? So, with me now, we're just going to breathe in for a count of four. Hold it for a count of five and breathe out for a count of four. This type of breathing is great. It regulates your blood pressure, regulates your heartbeat. It calms you down. It gets you into that Zen mode where you're able to take in information. All right? Sometimes people like you, you can get overwhelmed. There's so many things going on. You can get to the point where you're so frazzled that no matter what somebody's saying to you, you can't listen. You can't hear it anymore even. These kind of breathing exercises give you a chance to ruminate, give your mind a chance to rest, a chance to categorize everything that's been taken in, organize it, and then move it, all right? So that you can take in even more information comfortably. All right. Four, hold it for five, two, Three, four, five, and out for four. One, two, three, four. All right, again. Two, three, four. Hold it. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four. Good. One more time. Two, three, four, hold it. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four. Good. All right. You're looking even more relaxed, even more in control. The things that you're in control of are in your control. The things that are not will leave up to the universe. Mm -hmm. We'll leave up to the universe. Keep responsibility of the things within your control, but everything else, leave it up to the cosmic wonder. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, before I send you off to what I imagine is a very busy day filled with meetings with very important people and filled with all sorts of obligations, let's give you a brief invigorating massage, all right? So I want you to turn around for me. It's just going to be a quick neck, shoulder, and back massage. All right, we'll start with the neck. Just get that blood flowing. Get that tension out of there, right? Good, good. All right, and down to the shoulders. Just squeezing those, waking them up a little bit. Sometimes if our shoulders are tight, feel like the rest of us is uh, stiff. Let's wake those up, give them a little bit of a wiggle, get them nice and loose for you. Loose, loose. All right. Now down to the back, just nice strokes up and down the back. Get those muscles moving, get the back feeling good. All right. Just a little bit of tip tapping just to wake up the muscles, just get everything nice and moving. Nice. 
nice, nice, nice. All right, up back to the shoulders. Give them one more wiggle. One more wiggle looks really good. All right, and now to the neck again. A little bit more tip tap action. All right, all right. How are you feeling? Good. You're looking. You're looking at as well. You always look fantastic. We want you to feel fantastic too. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. All right. Thank you so much for sharing your time. You've got a busy schedule ahead of you. I'm going to leave you to it. Just remember, you are enough. Everyone supports you. And you are in control of what you're in control of. Everything else will leave to the cosmic wonder of the universe. All right. Don't fret about things that are outside your control. And if you feel overwhelmed at any point, don't blame yourself. Don't get upset. Just do a little bit of breathing, just like we did together here. And you'll find that your mind quiets itself, okay? Good. The mind is a really powerful tool. We never want to feel like the mind is working against us. We always want to be conscious of everything. We always want to be in control of the mind. We don't want it to be frazzled, out of control. You know, vibes are all over the place. We want good vibes only. And sometimes we got to take time to quiet. You know, quiet down. And get those good vibes flowing again. Good vibes aren't always there. Okay? Sometimes it's a little bit stressful. If you take the time, if you quiet the mind down, you can appreciate what's going on more and those good vibes will start flowing again all right again i know you're busy so i appreciate your time i hope this helped you and i hope it was valuable i'm gonna head out now and i will leave you to the rest of your day good luck with everything my friend